Wall Street is taking a back seat again in its latest partnership with Stripe. Our Kate Rooney explains. Hi, Kate. Hi, Carl. Big banks were hoping to win the battle for that next generation of customers, but so far they're having more success being the back office for more innovative tech platforms. This time it's with Stripe. The $36 billion payments giant is teaming up with Goldman Sachs, Citi, Barclays, and Evolve to offer banking service to its customers. The announcement is the latest in a string of these big marriages. We had Google and Citi a few weeks ago, and of course, Apple and Goldman Sachs with the Apple card. Analysts tell me this is a big shift for the industry as the banks move behind the scenes. In these partnerships, banks are becoming service providers and rely on Stripe and Google for distribution. As ARC analyst Max Frederick put it, they are, quote, becoming detached from any true customer interaction. He says they command less leverage and a smaller share now of the economics. The new catchphrase, new catchphrase for this is banking as a service. They're calling it BAS, similar to SaaS or software as a service. Analysts at McKinsey estimate that the industry could risk losing up to 40 percent of its $1.4 trillion in revenue due to price competition and missing out on branding for these deals. But it could be offset by a flood of new deposits. Shopify, which works with more than 6,000 merchants, will be the first to roll out this banking service for its customers next year. Stripe's co-founder and president, John Collison, describes it, though, as a win-win. He says Stripe's intent is to be, quote, shockingly effective in customer acquisition and getting the banks many, many more customer deposits. I also spoke to Citi CEO of Consumer Banking around their launch with Google. He says they expect a lot more of these tie-ups going forward as traditional banking is evolving. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.